It contains explicit scenes and descriptions of violent crimes and rituals. Because of the program's theme and country... Satanism is more than a hodgepodge of mysticism and fantasy. It preys on the emotionally vulnerable, especially teenagers, often lonely and lost. It basically started out like with the killing of animals, then there's always the heavy metal music and drugs don't help. Whether a Satan exists is a matter of belief, but we are certain that Satanism exists. To some it's a religion, to others it's the practice of evil in the devil's name. This is a real-life horror story, and it will give small children bad dreams. As for teenagers and their parents, we hope you are watching, because it's teenagers who are most likely to fall under the spell of this jumble of dark, violent emotions called, called Satanism. Satanism. Tell us what your name is. My name is Edgar Miller. Okay, and how do you feel about the music of metal? Oh, it's a freaking amazing genre, man. Metallica, Slipknot, ACDC, uh, Nickelback, great metal bands. So, have you ever heard about the connection between Satanism and metal? You mean like the connection between that knife that almost went to Isaac's son? What are your thoughts on metal being satanic? It's not satanic. If it was really satanic, don't you think that they would put it into words onto a book and then pretty much tell you that this is the truth? Metal music is not satanic, and it doesn't want you to be satanic. It's just something to listen to. Hi, I'm uh, Filler Miller, and uh, came to uh, talk about my son. I, uh, he had some issues, and... Uh, this is where he started a fire pit. He uh, does his little dances and rituals and smokes his devil's lettuce. Uh, I come from a very uh, classic Christian family, God bless. And I'm hoping I can save his soul. Uh, funny thing is, uh, we read him the Old Testament uh, back when he was a baby boy. This is where he... Uh, well, we told him the story about, like, how people used to sacrifice goats to God, and, uh, well, we sacrificed our pet dog and our neighbors the other day, uh, I think to his Satan. I'm so worried. So worried. Oh, well, this is Ollie Sykes from Bring Me the Horizon. Can you tell us more about your dad? Uh... He's, he's a little eccentric. You can say that about him. Always wears bright colors. Almost looks like my thumb. My dad's such a great guy, even though he always throws a Bible at the gay neighbors across the street and always misinterprets Bible verses. And whenever he goes up for healing at the front at the altar, he's always screaming, God damn it, Karen! Parents, they go Satanism in their kids. It's killing their kids. It's not killing their kids. The parents the are screwing parents up in the beginning. Hello. I'm Dr. Martin, and I'm here today to talk to you about why metal is a cancer, and why it is directly involved with Satanism. I've done many reports in the past few years, though none of them has been publicized, but they're still there on Craigslist. But anyways, I've done multiple studies that conclude 
that metal is directly associated with Satanism. In fact, 20% of all metal concerts have ended in Satanistic rituals with hollowed out skulls, blood, candles, and pentagrams. As you'll observe here, I have multiple records of proof exclaiming injuries to the forearm and collarbone and many more. But as you can see, metal is truly a dangerous game to play. Have you ever been in a mosh pit? Yeah, a thousand times. Can I show my eyes to the camera? Um, sure. I got hit so hard in the face that my eye went in. Describe what this music did to you. It was kind of like in the way of the, when we killed animals, it was just like, it would just go, things would go through my mind and I could see the thoughts, I could see me hurting someone, you know, torturing people. You're going to kill a person on earth to get the power of 10,000 souls in hell? Are you sick? Nope. Dad, can you spend some quality time with me? Son, go eat your peas. Go read the Bible. I'm doing work. I just wanted to play soccer. Son, it's the adult times now. Children are to be seen, not heard, like the Bible told me. Go to your room! I'm 21. Son, <laughs> while you're under this house, you will obey my rules. Do not make me get this fucking dog. Oh, dang! But, uh, yeah, like I said, we, we respect is the number one key, but, uh, to a bigger issue, this, uh, devil music my son listens to and his moshing. And that's another thing, moshing. You know who else does mosh pitting? The pits of hell, I'll tell you what. The demons, they get together with their pitchforks and they do their gay stabbings into your butt. That's mosh pitting. You know, it, it all comes full circle. They're, they're just devil worshippers. They, they don't believe anything besides that. They, they love the devil. These kids, they're, they're down with the devil. And we need to put a stop to that. In conclusion, I am a doctor, certified, I have my certificates here, and even though I can't exactly put my personal faith into my studies, I can safely say that metal is equal to Satanism. My son, he, he listens to this music that I feel just... It's crazy. It, 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 it's, it's, it's absurd. It's, I feel like it's, it's praising the devil. I mean, just wait, look at this stuff. <laughs> Dad, get out oh. now! Get, get out now! If I, if it weren't for me not believing in contraception, I would have pulled out. God bless his soul. Brought to you by Southboro Baptist Church, Christians Against Metal Division. I tell him to shut up. Shut up! Thank you. Down with the devil. And we need to put a stop to that. I hate soccer. And then I just. <laughs> My son, he, he just listens to all uh, devil music. That's all I can really say. He just, it, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. Like, I, I feel like it's really uh, praise to the devil. It's, it's crazy stuff. Like, I like that. It's drugs. Let's do it. Okay, so. I think he's turning in the yeah. fire a little bit. He <laughs> <laughs> <It> is, buddy. <laughs> Go. What's, oh, right now? Dr. Mark Wait, no. So you guys just, yeah, be Hello. And welcome to this documentary as... Fuck! Sorry! Right, whenever you're ready. What if William was under the table? Oh, when you God. started filming? <laughs> okay. He likes to be very secret about his friendship with his friend, who's also a very close friend of his name. Uh... Dr. Martin. Whenever I see them, or whenever I'm... They don't know I'm around, my dad likes to reach in under the flab of Mr. Martin and dig around and says that he's looking for a palm tree. But I went down there and I didn't find anything except for a penis. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I don't know why I'm digging a hole to fill another hole, but you know, we gotta smush out those devil ashes. It's. Uh. If you'll observe here, I have proof. <laughs> well, I've been to a Catholic church. What was that like? Pastor was giving me a very weird look when I was five. Really? Yeah. You know what he said? My penis is made of metal. You need to go get a job, you stupid double hippie! Okay? Oh. Oh.